I started working on smoking with Richard Dole in the 1960s and worked with him on tobacco for more than 40 years. The Medical Research Council got seriously involved in tobacco research in 1948. They set up a study showing that smoking was a cause of most of the lung cancer deaths. And since lung cancer was killing more people than any other type of cancer in Britain, this was an important discovery. And they carried on over the next few years showing that smoking was causing cancer of the mouth and throat, heart attack, chronic lung disease. So by 1957, the Medical Research Council was able to announce through the government that smoking was a serious hazard. Things didn't change very much. People kept on smoking. In fact, smoking kept on increasing in this country until the 1970s. Dole started his work, his major, first major publication on this was 1950, the MRC study of smoking and lung cancer, but then carried on working on it throughout the second half of the century and published his last major paper on it in 2004, the year before he died. And that last paper showed that the hazards were considerably bigger than had been suggested by the early work, but the benefits of stopping were correspondingly bigger. This graph was the result of 50 years of research by Richard Dole, and it showed the smokers are losing, on average, 10 years of life. And he would probably have been dead if he hadn't stopped smoking himself at the age of 37 when his first results came out. So, Smoking kills and stopping works. I took his work and then worked with people in other countries, China, India, and we got evidence from many different populations showing the hazards of smoking. The key finding is that you've got to do two things if you want to kill yourself with smoking. You need to start early, start in early adult life, and keep smoking. If you don't start early, you probably won't kill yourself. If you stop smoking before you've got some serious disease, you probably won't kill yourself. But if you start early and keep smoking, then you've got more than a 50% chance that you'll be killed by tobacco. And when people killed by tobacco can lose a lot of good life. Just on average, smokers lose 10 years of life, 10 years of good life. If you can stop smoking before 40, you'll avoid 90% of the risk. If you could stop before 30, you'd avoid 97% of the risk. The world has started to take this much more seriously than they were a few decades ago. And that's due to MRC-funded research demonstrating the hazards of smoking in China, in India, in various other places. So the British experience has informed the world, and it's through the MRC research, first done in Britain, then done in many other countries, that these ideas have spread. This is the centenary of the MRC, but we really need to look from the beginning of the 20th century, through the 20th century, and through the whole of this century if we want to understand a huge increase, and then, I hope, huge decrease in tobacco deaths worldwide.